Hello guys, we're getting over it again, but this one I changed up again, just like in last video, where is the hammer? Oh, I don't know, it went out to do something, so I have to make use for the hammer with my hand. This is weird, the hammer is now my hand. My arms technically climbing over it. There's no feeling more intense than starting over. Four, five. You deleted your homework the day before it was due. How about four, five? You have to go back after spending an hour in the commute. If you want some money at the casino, and then put all your winnings on red, but it came up flat. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding, and then immediately dropped food on it. If you won an argument with a friend, and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Oh my gosh, his arms. Is harder than just up. broken. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel I think I need four. Now. I'll be here. <clears throat> Alright. No, let's just do. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Just find oh. a safe place to stop and quit the game. Don't worry, I'll save your progress always, even your mistakes. Mm. This game is a homage to a free game that came out in Three. No! The author of that game was Jazuo, a mysterious oh, Czech designer who was disappear. known at the time as the father of B games. And B games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely. Mm, apparently and they're often too rough lock. and unfriendly to gain much of a following. Well, that does sound like that. They're built more for the there joy of building them than as polished products. Clock thing. In a certain way, sexy hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts, and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery, and the player is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing everything. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. Three minutes. Obstacles in sexy hiking are unyielding, and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing. I'm gonna fall, yeah. To the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault, as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them, and it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. When you're building a video game world, you're building with ideas. Oh, I just chopped my you arms in half. Quick set cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with, and in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world, not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. For years now, people have been predicting that games would soon be made out of prefabricated objects bought in a store and assembled into a world. And for the most part, that hasn't happened.
because they're objects, objects in the store, in the store, store trash. trash. I don't mean they look bad or that they're badly made, although a lot of them are. I mean they're trash in the way that food becomes trash as soon as you put it in the sink. Things are made to be consumed and used in a certain context. And once the moment is gone, they transform into garbage. In the context of technology, those moments pass by in seconds. Over time, we've put more and more red into this vast digital land that we talk about in it now now must be out of the and how they are using things as fresh and then maintain the energy. And if you think of the ground down, 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 down that's called trash, 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 a monstrous, monstrous mountain, mountain of trash, the ash, ash and creativity of this mountain. A land land with, with everything, everything we ever thought of in it. Grand, infinite, and unsorted. Mm. It's this three models, models and breakfast. Genetics, Genetics and, and, and fanfic nozzles. Scan yeah, magazines, rooms, 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 Everything's fresh for about six seconds until some newer thing beckons and we hit refresh. Yes, 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 Almost there. What oh, idea? I can't look at my fingers. Oh. When you, they wanted a lot from you, daunting you, taunting you, resetting and delaying you. Players played stoically. Now everyone's turned off by that. They want to burn through it quickly, a quick fix for the fickle, some tricks for the clicks of the feckless. But that's not you, you're an acrobat. You could swallow a baseball bat. Ah, oh, this is hard. Oh, and there I go. Now I know, most likely you're watching this on YouTube or Twitch, while some dude with 10 million views does it for you, like a baby bird being fed chewed up food. That's culture too. chance that you're playing this. What I'm saying is, the trash is disposable, but maybe it doesn't have to be approachable. What's the feeling like? Are you stressed? I guess you don't hate it if you got this far. Feeling frustrated? It's underrated. An orange is sweet, juicy fruit locked inside a big... Hello, orange punch. That's not how I feel about a challenge. 
I only want the bitterness. It's coffee. It's grapefruit. It's licorice. Bam, orange hole completed without even, without a hammer. Hold up. Beep. There we go, bad drum scare will be a bit more quiet. There it is. It feels like we're closer now, composer and climber, designer and user. You could have refused, but you didn't. There was something in you that was hidden, that chose to continue. Getting to Anvil, the most boring and. Oh, oh, you just lost a lot of progress. What the heck? Deep frustration. That's stupid. I want to ride Snake with my hands. I think we're gonna do that if I can get the Snake. That didn't work. That jump is impossible. Can't even do it. This isn't going to work. Just going to slide. Oh. Yep. Why? 
doesn't do that. I'm, I don't even do anything. I stand there and it shoots me out. E, E, E. I'm vibing, dog. Oh, not there. Yes, hat is out. Come on. It means a lot to me that you've come this far, endured this much. Every wisecrack, every insensitivity, every setback you've forgiven me is a kingly gift that you've given me. Well. Time to ride snake with no hammer. We have the same taste, you and I. It's not ambition. It's so weird. It's ambition's opposite. And my first time riding a snake. Do I want to? You'll feel bad if you win. I'm this far. So I'll snake in for you. Should I? I'm not sure if I should. Oh my god, that looks so weird. I'm not even holding on to Snake. Alright, here we go. Snake ride. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm gonna do ice. Well, I'm gonna try and do bucket if I fall. Alright, let's just ride snake. Here we go. No, I don't want to fall. Alright, snake. Here we go. Wee! Wee! Oh, so fun! Wee! Oh, snake ride. Keep on snake trying. ride, Nobody yeah. Oh, well, now I know what snake is and what it's like. I already know. News that it does that and sent you back down to the bottom, but I don't really care. So that's the end of this video. Goodbye.